Richard Benson Matinyara is in trouble again with the South African authorities. And this is what Bopo Oshimono has said. The South African non-governmental organization Save Our Girls is taking Zanpia propagandist Rutendo Matinyarare to the South African High Court for allegedly sleeping with young girls. The case also drags ZANPF oligarch and corrupt businessman Kudata Gray, whom Zimbabwean lawyer Sebash Tando is accused of funding Matinyarare's propaganda after their phone out. Tando knows more about Matinyarare because they were once best friends before their spectacular falling out. The case will be heard in Hauteng High Court Division. Matinyarare is reported to be on the run after fleeing South Africa. And also, this is what he then replied to what Wopo Shimono said. This story is actually in the Citizen Sunday. Endo Matinyarare is in trouble for being a PDF. What do you make of this story of Rutendo Benson Matinyarare? And he then makes this statement at the end of his response. According to Citizen article from August 10, 2024, an NGO called Save Our Girls, which only came into existence in March 2024, just days after Insko Visas Rutendo was aired in Jobek High Court, is going to court in SA to ask for the court to increase sexual age of consent in South Africa from 16 to 18 years, allegedly after I made tweets about the legality of sleeping with sexually eman emancipated young women. I'm here to be saved with these papers and I'm unsure why Kudata Gray is being cited as fan of what is being labeled my propaganda when I've never met Kudata Gray. I believe that this is an attempt to extort him. Nevertheless, if South Africans feel the need to raise their sexual age of consent, I believe that is their prerogative.